All right, what's up guys? We're back with another one now. So this one, something I, you know, it just kind of popped in my head today. I said, you know, I want to make this video before Melty comes out. So as you should be aware, you know, Melty Blood Type Lumina will be releasing in about three weeks from the time of making this video. And it's going to be a lot of people's first Melty Blood. You know, a lot of people think the game looks really interesting. It's their first Melty Blood. They're excited for it, which is great. I think it looks awesome too. But there's also a lot of comments from people that I'm getting on the YouTube comments about like, I don't know about this game. Like, what is Melty Blood? You know, why should I play it? Blah, 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 blah. So today, I just want to kind of talk about, you know, what makes Melty Blood so cool. Why you should play uh, Type Lumina. Why you should give it a shot when it comes out. So uh, I just got five easy reasons. Let's just talk about it. Uh, but of course, before that, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like Melty. And hopefully, we can save this game together. You know, Type Lumina is not out yet, so I'm going to be using the old Melty, or the current Melty, I'm sorry. Just to kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about, right? So what makes Melty Blood so cool? So first up, this is something, you know, this was what originally got me into Melty way, way, way back in the day. Something that kind of defines the series to me, and it's mobility, right? So compared to a lot of games, even other anime games, you know, like a Blaze Blue or a Guilty Gear, the mobility in Melty is kind of wild. So this, the screen might look small, but just the way you can fly around, right? You can do super jump, double super jump, super jump, double super jump, air dash, dodge, things like that. The old joke with Melty Blood was that like the ground is lava, right? Always just flying around. You know, the neutral is really, really exciting. Something different with Type Lumina compared to the old Melty that everyone is talking about, if you've seen the footage now, is that this Melty is kind of very, very vertical, right? You just jump a lot. You, you're fighting in the air all the time. The new Melty is very wide. So the stages are very, very wide. But to make up for that, the characters have a very, very fast run speed. So for example, my character right here, Nania. You see my dash on the ground? A bit slow. You know, not that crazy. Nania or Chiki in Type Lumina has a run. He's got a full screen run. Very, very fast. So it looks like they're keeping that spirit of, you know, movement, movement, movement. Me just telling you, you know, movement is good. That's why you should play it. Again, this is something that you need to kind of, you got to just kind of experience on your own. You got to feel, it's, it's, you know, the feel of the game, right? Just being able to fly around, air dash, attack from the sky, anti-air. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. That kind of freedom, the, the kind of freedom of just controlling your character feels great. And it's something that a lot of games just don't have. You know, even the Guilty Gear Strive. I love Guilty Gear Strive. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be like, Strive stinks. Nuzzlebutt's great. But the movement in Melty is way, way, way more like free and you're way more mobile and fluid than in Strive, which is kind of like the go-to anime game right now. Street Fighter V or even like Tekken, all you can do is backdash all day. Like you're, it's going to blow your mind when you play this kind of game. So yes, number one is the movement. Trust me, the movement is godlike. I don't know if Melty invented this. I don't know if Melty invented this feature, but this is something that kind of defines the series. It's called Reverse B. You might be familiar with a Gatling if you played Blaze Blue or Guilty Gear. That's where you can go like light, medium, heavy. This is even in Street Fighter games, you know, like target combos. So for example, like light, medium, heavy. But in Melty Blood, you can actually go the other way. So for example, let me just show you this. This is my heavy attack, right? It's quite slow. It's good attack. It's quite slow, but you can do something like this, right? See that? I canceled the heavy attack into the jab and down on the bottom it says reverse B. So what this does is not only allows you to do like special combos, but it allows you to do crazy pressure strength. For example, you sneak it. Oh my, just like, it's so simple, right? I'm telling you this, this is so simple, but this opens up so much in the game, right? So like, for example, I just showed you, this is 2B, so it's like a medium attack, right? 2B canceled. So by itself, it's quite slow, you see? But instead, I can cancel it into my light attack, and then from here, I can just do it again. Or I can dash in and go for a grab or something like that. There's all sorts of stuff. And again, this is the universal mechanic. Like, every character has access to this. It opens up all sorts of, like, block strings and combos and stuff. And the same way I said with the, the movement options, again, this is really free form. You know, the kind of freedom you have in this game to... You make your own pressure strings, make your own kind of block strings, do what you feel you need to do in that moment, right? It's, it's very, very fast, very, very fun. Oh, and of course, yes, this is in Melbourne Type Lumina. Again, I gotta, I gotta reiterate that. Even though I'm using this version, all this stuff applies to Type Lumina, which is coming out soon. Number three, I don't have to show anything for this. This one is easy. 
it's the music, right? It's the music. The music is godlike. So the, the music is done by Raito. You know, Raito's been making the tracks from Melty. He's done other stuff for, for Uni as well. But the music is so good. The Type Lumina tracks that we've heard so far, we haven't heard anything full yet. And they all sound amazing. People bug, you know, because the old month music is so good too. The please put it in, please put it in, please put it in. But yes, the old the jukebox is added to the game. So not only do the new tracks sound great, but some of these old melty tracks are so good. This song right now you're hearing is probably very, very chill. Every time I use this song, people always say, yo, what's that music? Where is it from? This is melty music. Something really cool about the melty soundtrack too is that the songs are really varied. Like for example, this is a, a chill song. There's like upbeat music like this one, you know, there's upbeat stuff like this. There's like serious, there's like heavy stuff like this, man. There's all, there's so many different types of, of tracks in here, all made by one guy. They're great. Trust me, the music is so good. And Type Lumen, like I said, is going to have great music. That should definitely be a selling point for you there. Next up though, so uh, another point I want to talk about here. This game has some crazy, crazy, crazy combos, but you don't need them. For example, kind of a universal combo in this game is just B, C, B, C, air grab. Very, very, very simple. Very, very, very simple, right? You can do almost anything. B, C, B, C, air grab, right? Off anything. Because of like, I'm not even thinking right now, I'm just pressing buttons. But even though that's a very, very simple and very, very effective combo, this is basically all you need to get going. The game does have crazy, crazy, crazy advanced stuff. Now, the good point about this is that you don't need it. I, I'm stressing this 100%. You do not need this stuff. This super, super sweaty advanced combos that are incredibly, like, sick, super impressive to watch. You don't need to do that stuff. You can leave that to, to you know, the, the ultra sweats, the guys that grind 10 hours a day to do this kind of stuff. You don't need any of that. A lot of times, too, it adds a bit of extra damage, you know, but it's more about you just kind of... What's the, what's that phrase everybody likes? Expressing yourself. You're like, damn, I got the best combo. I got the ultimate swag combo. I got the optimal stuff. So, all right, here we go. To demonstrate kind of the freedom of combos, you know, I had to switch over to, to my boy, F Nania here. So, for example, you just go pop, pop, right here, right? So that's a really, really easy combo, right? No problem. Anybody can learn how to do this whenever you want, right? Very, very easy, very, very basic, but. If you want, if you really, really want to sweat, he has a really, really advanced combo where what you can do is here, I'll explain it. You do this. After the fall, listen, it's gonna sound kind of wild. You double jump, right? You're gonna jump cancel this DP move. Jump cancel that, and then I'm gonna fast fall down, then I'm gonna DP again. Now I'm gonna demonstrate this. Let's see how long it takes me to land this combo one time. Ready? It's 11.48, ready? Mark that chat, mark that down, 11.48. Oh, damn, we did it. We did it, what time, time, time. 23.50, 11.50, two minutes? That's a world, that might be a world record. Is that a Panda world record? But like I said, you don't need to do that combo. There are, there are Nania players, they'll do that combo 100% of the time. You know, the guys that are really, really dedicated, that can, they're confident, they can land that, you know, high execution combo. So, you know, the ceiling, the ceiling is really, really high, but it's not necessary. I showed you how effective the, like the level one, the super basic combos, that's all you need, right? You can focus on other stuff. You can focus on other stuff. You don't even need to do that combo, right? You can set up your Oki instead. It's, it's, oh man. Again, just the freedom, right? You can choose how you want to play. Like what kind of style do you want to do? Do you really want to be that guy that goes for the craziest high execution stuff? You want to focus on your mix-ups instead. You want to just play like really good neutral, right? You play how you want to play. It's really, 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 you know, just free. I, I'm saying a lot, but that's what it is, man. It's a free, freestyle game. All right. And so the last part here, the fifth one I want to kind of talk about is just in general, like the Melty Blood neutral game. So neutral game is really, really fun. Even though, again, I'm just in training mode. You want to watch the match videos. You want to see like all the crazy characters and stuff, like what kind of tools they have and everything. But that's not what I'm going to talk about. I want to talk about just in general. Uh, I think right now everybody used to Guilty Gear Strive. You know, if you're an anime player, if you come from Strive, you're used to that kind of crazy damage. Or even um, Dragon Ball Fighters. If you're a Dragon Ball Fighters player, you know, that game is so optimal now. Everybody kills in one hit, one hit or two hits. The way they balance that is by giving you three characters and stuff, but you know, it's very easy to lose momentum. You know, it's very easy to get steamrolled. So I, I would say Melt is a lot more neutral focused, even though there is some crazy Oki characters in here, but it's a lot more neutral, which is great because that's where that mobility shines, right? That's where that mobility shines. So some of the tools, for example, let me just do a, a basic combo here with, with Nania. 
So look at the damage right there. You see how much damage I did? That's not a lot of damage at all. And it left her kind of far away. So, you know, we're back to neutral. Right? We'll, we'll reset there in neutral. Another thing you can see is that red life. That's recoverable life. You can recover that kind of life with... If you activate Blood Heat. It adds another layer to the game of... You know, do you want to maybe stop your attack? You want to you know, stop your attack to recover your life to keep the match going right there. So you have ways to recover your life. The damage is a bit lower, I would say, than some other games. So you need to land more hits, which means more focus on the neutral. You have defensive options, right? You have shield in general. We've seen shield is very, very strong. Where well, you're finding yourself cornered and pressured. In other games, you might feel helpless. In this game, you can shield. You can guard cancel. You can block and then guard cancel. You can activate your heat, which is kind of like a universal get off me move, but again, it's getting baited. And then you can burst too. So if you actually do get hit, you can burst. And I can't show it in this game because it's not in there, but it's in Type Lumina. But Type Lumina has a, what's it called? Moon Drive. So Moon Drive is almost like a pause button. So again, you can use Moon Drive on offense, but also it's another defensive tool. So all these tools that let you kind of escape from just getting steamrolled and get back to neutral, right? Back to that neutral. It's just, this is this is where fighting games really shine, I think. I'm sure a grappler player will disagree with me. They're like, no, June, it shines when you're on top, just playing RPS. But I think what really makes fighting games fun is this, right? Flying around the screen, fishing for that hit, you know, getting, getting the hit, right? Getting the hit and then getting started. That's where it shines. And I think just the general pace of Melty Blood, the relatively low damage, the multiple defensive options, the get off me tools, the way to recover your life, just it really, I, I, almost like an anti steam. It, it, you know, Strive has the wall break as their anti steamroll method. I think Melting's got a, a little bit more, a little bit more variety on just how to avoid that, rather than just like a force mechanic of just like all right, the wall breaks back to neutral. You have more tools, more ways to get back to that, that kind of fun, that fun sequence. But a very melty, melty style game. And with everything else, it works really, really well. But yeah, that's it. I want to keep it simple. You know, I don't want to talk about like endless list of these are all the good points of the game, but these are just some of like the key, key gameplay elements that are carrying over to Melty Blood Type Lumina. So Type Lumina is its own game. It's going to have some new mechanics that aren't in this one, but so far it seems like everything is brought over aside from the crazy large cast and the different moon types. But again, I feel like that that's fine. It's a little bit overwhelming. For a new start, I think all the key mechanics are still in there. It's still going to feel like Melty Blood, but you don't need to be a Melty Blood player to pick it up. It, it, it kind of carries the, the soul of the old game, but there's enough new stuff to get you started. So I feel like if you like fighting games, if you're interested in Melty Blood, even if you're not, hopefully this video might have showed you what makes the game so cool. So if you are still watching, let me know. You know, I only listed five things. There's way more stuff about this game that makes it so cool. Oh, the price. I got to mention the price. The basic version is only 50 bucks. It's quite cheap for a fighting game. It's going to have rollback netcode. Uh, it's starting with, what, 11-something characters there. I, I definitely think it's worth picking up. I haven't even played it yet, but just seeing how they're handling the game, I definitely think it's something worth picking up if you like fighting games. So hopefully this video helped maybe change the mind or two, maybe got you guys interested in the game. So, yeah, like I said, I'm repeating myself, but let me know what's your favorite part of Melted Blood. What about the game is really great? How would you kind of sell this game to someone who's on the fence about it, who's never played before? You know, what's your favorite part? And don't say the neck R. Don't do that. But like always, if you're still watching, thank you. Leave a comment. Let's talk about it. I uh, appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.